Hey everyone, happy Thursday. Today I'm gonna to show you how to build these awesome garage shelves. As I've gotten into more and more gardening, I have more and more things that need a place to be stored. And so we built these really nice garage shelves. These are 16 and then by almost nine feet, our ceilings are 12 feet in our garage. Um, so that's how big these are, but of course you can adjust this to any size that you want. What you are going to need is one four by four for your corner. Ours ended up being about 10 feet long. You're going to need three two by sixes that are 16 feet for the front and eight two by sixes that are eight feet for the back side. That's along the house here attached to the wall. You're gonna need three sheets of plywood, one for each shelf, and you're gonna need six two by fours at eight feet long or two two by fours per a shelf that you're gonna be putting in. We also used a stud finder for this project, a miter saw, um, an impact drill, and a couple of levels, and a table saw to rip the pieces of plywood. Other than that, the installation is pretty simple. I'm gonna just do a talk over over the time-lapse so that you can see exactly how to put these shelves together, but they're really awesome. You can see right here, I have a spot set up where I'm gonna be starting my seeds next week, so make sure you subscribe so you can see exactly what you need to be starting in the coming weeks. All right, so your first step is obviously you need to get your music going, which is what I'm doing right here. Um, second, we started in measuring everything out, how big we wanted it to be. And then I started going along the wall with the stud finder and marking where those studs were. They are 16 inches apart, but because we're starting from a corner, we didn't know exactly where they started. Um, and there was also a larger stud in the middle. Um, so that was good to find out. Then we worked on assembling the shelves and put one of our 16 foot long two by sixes on one side and the other eight feet longs on the other edge. And then of course, one of our pieces was cut to be the end and then put two by fours about every two feet. The shelves are two feet wide. Um, so that's when, so that when you cut a piece of plywood in half, it will um, work for one full shelf because they're four feet um, wide otherwise. Um, and then you're gonna repeat this process three times or as many shelves as you're gonna have. If you're gonna have four, you would do it four times, et cetera. Um, and you can put these together with two and a half inch screws. We actually ran out of these screws, so I'm gone during this clip going to buy these screws. Um, you could use longer screws if you want to, but you don't have to. Um, so that's where I was getting those. Um, this part was pretty simple and nice and easy to do on the ground. We thought about putting them together on the wall, but this actually ended up being a lot simpler to just do it this way. And then we had three pieces that were ready to go up onto the wall. All right, some final measuring and make sure we got the places where those studs are. You want to make sure you're screwing into studs in your wall because these shelves are going to be heavy. Plus, you're going to be storing things on top of them, so it'll be even heavier. And here we go, starting to screw into the wall. We used a couple of three or four inch screws in the corners to really secure this first one. And all the while checking that we're level, both from left to right and front to back. Um, and making sure that shelf was nice and secure. And then we started measuring for where we wanted our second shelves to be. You have to remember your shelf is six inches tall itself, so you have to take those six inches off of your gap. And we ended up with about two feet per each shelf. Um, then we cut, trimmed up our 4x4 four four and put it in the corner and made sure that our first shelf was still level. And then we slid the other two pieces, um, other two shelves that we had already made on top of that, just so it would be a little easier to get them onto that 4x4 four four before um, we put up all the shelves. This was a bit of a tricky part here. We had to lift up this shelf. It really helped to put on these little uh, one piece of 2x6, one piece of 2x4 to be able to hold them up higher without having to like stand on a bunch of ladders. And this sign was in the way, so we had to move that over to the left. My husband loves those old signs, um, so we have lots of those in our garage. Um, then I finished getting up the tallest shelf up there, just checking that it's level all the way. Oh, I forgot to mention this earlier, but we went ahead and started screws all along where each of these studs were um, when they were all just sitting on the ground. So it'd be really easy once we had it lifted up into place and we're holding it to screw in. And then we repeated that um, for our middle shelf here, just getting all those screws and making sure everything's level. And then the last thing I do is put on pieces of plywood. We had to cut out a little niche um, for the four x four to go up through. Other than that, it was pretty simple. We just laid those pieces on and then use two and a half inch screws to screw those down into the two by fours that are running along underneath. I also cut, cut just a little L piece to go around the corner just to make it look nice. So then while William is finishing up 
um, screwing down the plywood on the top shelf, I'm starting to load a bunch of our stuff on there and we ended up shuffling all the stuff around, um, but just trying to figure out the best way to do it. I also drilled in a little hole in our bottom shelf here so that I could run a um, power strip to it so that I could have um, lots of plugs for where I'm gonna be starting my seeds. And here I'm just organizing things and getting things onto the shelves how we want them and getting my little area set up to start seeds next week, which I'm very excited about um, being able to get that done. And then we just loaded them up. We had lots of stuff just kind of piled up in our garage and we wanted to um, get it more organized. So luckily that's what we get to do right here. I hope you enjoyed this shelf building process and leave any questions that you have down in the comments below. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I'll put the list of all the supplies you need down in the description box below so that you can um, create a quick shopping list to make these shelves. Let me know in the comments um, if you're gonna be installing these shelves and what you plan <laughs> to store on them. For me, it's a bunch of garden stuff, but of course these are um, great garage shelves that can be used really for anything. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys back here next week. Bye. <laughs> what do you think of our new shelves? Should everyone build these shelves? Yeah, I would say so. If you guys bought shit as we got. <laughs>